supposedly we're live so I'm gonna go double check our twitch channel real fast make sure we're actually live so pardon me yeah looks like we're live awesome so let me click off that window back on to the main game as you guys can see I've got a bit of a different lighting setup this time I think it's a little bit better I'm gonna scooch on in so yeah how's it going everybody it's nice to be back for another live stream playing more Pokemon which you guys can't really see it too well but I'm wearing my uh, Galar starter shirt so you can see score bunny right here sobbles like to the left if I lean kind of back sobble grookey those guys but yeah so last we left off we needed to we need somebody else cut shit all right so this is the point where we need to go f smack up team galactic because they've got a headquarters over here and hopefully I want to take some. I'm pretty sure Karma can learn cut. I don't want to teach it to something that I'm gonna to have to delete it off of later if I need it. But if he's eligible, then like I shouldn't teach it to one of our dead Pokemon. That seems like cheating to me. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look. Yeah, he can learn it. So will. 55, 50. Wow, it's even weaker than Vice Crip. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. But hey, it's what we got to do. So yeah, I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. I, uh, just after, like this afternoon, I got offered a job at the museum where I live. So, is there room to grab an item behind? Ah, oh, fuck, he's going to talk to me. This is Looker in disguise, by the way. Uh, should I give... Okay, I'll, I'll narrate. It's only natural that I be a master of disguise. Incidentally, you are a first-rate trainer. Of that, I'm very aware. I therefore think you will be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building it has two stairs... One of them, a trap it must be. But the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear, how shall I say, smart. There should be an easy way to tell the stairs apart. Yeah, I think that the easy way is that they're not guarding the the booby trap stairs. But you know, we're we're gonna go we're gonna go up all of them and fight everybody. Because we need that sweet, sweet, delicious experience. And we're going to pray to God that we don't encounter a god in this fight. Oh. Okay, okay, here we go. I was like, wait, why is this room just empty? Or not like empty, but like a dead end. So yeah, no, I got offered a job today. So I'm really excited because that means the end of my unemployment woes. Which, I am not exaggerating when I say there were some woes behind that. Like, it is... This thing hard counters our whole team, almost. That's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, I am... Oh, fuck. It does hard counter. Oh, god. I probably should have went for Magical Leaf. I think it's a little bit stronger. So yeah, I'm having a good day. I uh, had to go in, do a drug test, get a physical. So, I guess the big thing about that is just the streaming schedule is probably going to change a teeny bit. Not even really based on my work schedule, but uh, Ashley is about to start a new job soon, too. And she's going to be using the computer that I stream this off of. So... This series is probably going to move from being either, you know, a middle-of-the-week type of thing, like, weekend type of thing, to 
probably a Monday or Tuesday sort of operation, or we'll have to go either incredibly early, so like maybe like 11 a.m., or we'll have to go incredibly late, start streaming at 10, stream till like midnight. So I don't really know exactly where I'm leaning yet on that decision, but that's something that I thought I'd mention solely because anyone that checks out the series is always helping me out and I want to make it available as much as possible for you guys. So like I don't want to put it, I mean I know you guys can watch the video on demand, but I don't want to like, streaming on Twitch is streaming on Twitch, like it's more fun when you have people come out and you're, you know, together while you're playing. Like, mostly live. I mean, I know there's some latency. But I want to make sure that that opportunity is still feasible for people to, you know, check out. So, this is sort of me just rambling about the, like, problem. I don't really have a solution or, like, a plan moving forward yet. Because there's still a bit of time before I need one. So, I just thought that I'd, like, air it out now for you guys while we're playing. So you know that that shift is coming. Uh, incidentally, that means that there'll probably be a switch for some of the other series moving forward, too. So, like, our Jackbox Knights, our Phoenix Wright playthrough. I don't know when is gonna be, like, I don't, I don't really know. I just don't know if it's gonna be a thing where our days shift so me and Ashley can do it together. I don't know if it's gonna be something where... I have to stream it alone and Ashley sits out for a little while. I don't really know yet. So that's kind of just me being transparent, letting you guys know what's going on. Cause you know, that seems like the right thing to do. Wow. That did nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's sort of where we're at. That's our life right now. Oh, fuck that. God damn it. Come on, Blastoise. Thank you. Oh, you're still here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why are we going first? Was that a negative priority move or is it a speed tie? I mean, I guess it could have been a speed tie, but... It seems unlikely. Like, Blastoise, even being five levels higher, is a slow boy. He is, after all, a goddamn turtle. So who are we gonna... I guess we're fine leaving Zolt in front for a little bit longer. So yeah. I'm excited to just be back here playing, you know? I'm actually... I don't know how I want to do this. I don't even know what's going on, this man says. Yikes. So, uh, Looker seems to be kind of correct in saying these guys aren't very smart. Which, uh, that's unfortunate for the, uh, people paying these guys, because if they're this dense, one has to... X special, okay. One has to imagine that they're not really doing much for this organization if they can't even know what's going on at any given moment in time. Oh, I also should probably mention our Jackbox stream scheduled for Friday was sort of misscheduled. So I don't know what day we're coming back. I don't know if we're coming back tomorrow for that. I don't know if we're moving to Sunday. Uh, that change is probably going to be reflected later tonight. All right, so this is this is where the commander is. We gonna we're gonna backtrack a little bit. Go to that other set of stairs. Punch the crap out of those dudes. Get that experience. Cause I'm not trying to be under leveled for literally anything. Like I I just really. This seems like a decent pair for a double. I don't want to switch in something that's like, I don't want to switch in a water type. Uh, 
guess a water type wouldn't have been a bad idea. I don't know. Our team's not very balanced right now. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. It's not. <laughs> I don't know why we keep encountering legends. What does this thing do at level 16? I'm so concerned. Confusion? Alright, I mean, that's... Okay, that was a crit. I was about to say. Is that going to be consistent damage on that one? Because, my god. That's not, like, a ton, but, like... I don't know how many, like... I don't know how bulky this thing is. I don't know how many turns it'll take to knock out, so... I don't want to sit in front of that longer than I have to. Just don't... Oh, wow, that was a double hit? That was a double hit, alright. Alright, we need to... Get this to be a two-on-one. Because if we get to a two-on-one... This thing should go down pretty quickly. What am I learning? Oh, quick attack. Yeah, I guess. It's decent for now. Alright, taking a look, making sure that we're still alive. Because sometimes, for whatever reason, the, like OBS just stops connecting to the Twitch server and they just... I don't know makes a bit of a headache for me in the long run but it's not as bad as when it would disconnect on YouTube when it disconnects on YouTube that's just that's just annoying Era, uh, we don't really we don't really do well in this match up here so let's bring in Dundee uh I'm not gonna lie, I think my favorite part about doing randomizer nuzlocks is just catching the Pokemon. Like, the playthrough itself is kind of whatever, but like, I love the like thrill of being like, oh man, check this out. We just caught this insane Pokemon, or like, just the fact that it lets you use things in a. Uh... So like, this is a fourth gen game, so I. Of course, in Platinum, there's no way to have a Croconaw. I don't think. Without, you know... There, there are ways. But, you know, it's not part of the decks. It's not normal. Neither is, you know, having Blastoise. Like, it's, it's cool getting these Pokemon and using them in the story that we wouldn't normally be able to do. You know, we're actually not doing too bad here on health. Just to say, is he not gonna fight? I had to click on him to trigger that. Eradicate. Oh, we're fine with that. I'm... Shouldn't Jolteon get double kick? Is that a thing? I felt like that's supposed to be a thing. Or I might be thinking of a different Pokemon. Okay, cool. I was gonna say. It looked like that health bar is about to start moving a little quicker than it was. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to lose Jolteon here. I just realized Zolt is like Bolt and Bolt is basically What the fuck did my computer just do? Are we still alive? Hold up. I'm going to I'm going to pull up the Twitch window again, I guess, because my computer just did something weird. I don't know what it just did. All I know is I'm concerned. It looks like we're still alive. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Actually, what what screen would be helpful? I think that would be the helpfulest one to leave up. 
helpfulest. Most helpful, wow. It's been a day, guys. Basically, I rolled out of bed today. At, like, noon, I think. Because, you know... We're actually, we're gonna go heal. There's no reason to run into the commander fight not fully healed. But, like, you guys know how, like, quarantine time is. It's... It's a fucking... It, it's just a time sink. Like, it's an illusion. Because nothing really matters. There's no schedule. There's no structure. There's no obligation to... Like, time... Okay, so... This is gonna be my time rant. Which I think is appropriate for this region. But... Time only has meaning because we give it meaning. It only has structure because <clears throat> we make it have structure. You take two people, one that doesn't have to do anything, and then another that does, and then you put them on the same, like, hey, time is important thing. Well, if you can literally do whatever you want, whenever you want, essentially quarantine time loses all meaning because there's no limit there's no rush there's no risk if you don't do something right away whereas if you're let's say like you're in quarantine but you're an essential employee or you're just employed in general you have a finite amount of time now because you're working anywhere from 20 to 40 hours a week and that time is committed to to whatever company you're working for so because of that am i going the right way so because of that essentially you have to balance time between taking care of yourself you know eating playing working studying whatever you have to do and then they're just oh yeah i guess I just go up to you I thought that would trigger a cutscene or something. Uh, I'm gonna narrate this real fast. Eh? Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You wanna free the Pokemon? Fine. I, Jupiter, will deal with you. That's pretty quick. But... If you don't have a schedule, if you don't have your time committed to any- Oh, fuck. I should've been thinking about who was gonna come in and fight. We are going to go into Blastoise, because he probably has our best defense on the team. Uh, but yeah, like, when you don't have an obligation, there's no difference between, hey, I went to bed at 10, woke up at 7, started my day, and I went to bed at 5 a.m., woke up at noon, started my day. Like, you can still do whatever you want. It doesn't matter that you slept in, it doesn't matter you stayed up late. Because time ultimately means nothing, really. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, does a crit kill us? Uh, it doesn't matter, he's gone, but... That's crit range, I'm fairly certain. The times, too, that did, like, what? 27? Yeah, that's... That's crit range. That's scary to think of. Like, two times damage crits are stupid. And I'm really glad they're gone. As of, you know, later generations, of course. They're still here now. But, yeah. Sorry for the time rant. Like, that's just kind of been, you know, something that's been on my mind. Because these last four months... I've been unemployed, unemployed for four months officially. As of the 20... I'll say the 25th of this month. It's been four months. And that's such a weird feeling, because it basically just felt like summer vacation. Like, I didn't have to go to school. I didn't have to go to work. I didn't have to pick up a summer job or nothing. It just felt like a vacation. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he'll, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. 
But yeah, it's it's been a weird experience because uh, I spent I want to say three four years working because I went to college at age nineteen. I graduated four years after that, but for the majority of my college experience and my high school experience, I was not working because for high school I lived at home and I really didn't need a whole lot of money and really need to do a whole lot because just I don't really require a whole lot. So I moved out to, I moved out home so I could, you know, go to school and, you know, for school and college, you know, you take out your loans, you do what you got to do to pay for it, and for the most part, my loans went to either, hey, I'm using this to, you know, take my classes, or I used it for, you know, housing and stuff, you know, having roommates, not on campus, but, you know, living in apartments with different people, until I found my fiancé, and then, eventually, you know, the loan money kind of runs out, you know, it's, it's finite girl I I don't have room for this I don't have room who am I gonna who do I want to deposit for this cuz like I know I still need cut for a little bit longer but it, it doesn't matter I'm not is the egg random fuck is the egg random I don't know. Shit. We'll, we'll put Ethan in here for now. Do I want to hatch this? I don't want to hatch this. We're we're gonna we're just gonna get it and switch them. Cause I don't I'm not guaranteed that the egg is random. I don't know if there's an option to do that. And if there is, I might not have selected the option correctly but yeah uh i don't know what my point was i sort of went on a tangent so i'm very sorry about that sometimes i can be long-winded especially when i'm just talking about just life you never really know with life because it do you do something Oh yeah, you give it... I forgot that she was here. So, anyway. Life is just whatever. It's a lot. It's overwhelming. It's happy. It's sad. It's stressful. It's frustrating. It's a lot. It's everything. And part of that's just knowing that, like, time is that constant factor that regardless of if you're, you know employed unemployed doing whatever it's still you know has some type of you know factors upon you it, it still has its hold <sighs> fuck oh my god because you know essentially regardless of if we're taking it seriously or not, do i have money i have a lot of money that's exciting Oh, that's so exciting. Give me a specialty bowl. I don't really think any other Pokeball is going to be that helpful in this situation. Uh, we're stocking up, boys. We're not gonna bankrupt ourselves because we, we never know. We might need other stuff too. But yeah, time always has some type of effect on us. Whether it's we want to get something done, we want to. <laughs> I've met 109. Oh, Jesus. That's, uh. That's what a randomizer will do for you. Oh, shit. Gotta get on the bike. So yeah, I hope you guys have been doing alright, because I know for a fact, this has been a rough year. 
this has been a rough year for damn near everybody for some reason some way ah oh, god damn it i need to switch this all out of the front or something and bring in dundee because you know between covid and just everything it's it's always something it feels like you're faster now all right That's interesting. That did nothing. That did, like, zero. <laughs> Fucking Christ. That did a lot more. Was, I'm probably physically... I'm probably physically oriented. Th no! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, we're switching. This is the danger zone, and we don't want to be in the danger zone. Still streaming, awesome. This mud slap stuff is kind of pissing me off. Thank fuck, it didn't take multiple attempts to hit him. Oh my gosh. So yeah, Dundee right out of the gate literally i'll use a potion here just because i i really don't want to like backtrack i just want to make progress i want to get to our next encounter so badly because like i think i'm gonna be real jolteon and blastoise are the only two members on the team that i really like feel like excited to use everybody else is kind of just here with us like, Pidgeot is cool, but, like, of any other, like, I could have, okay, not any other, I guess he's still better than Noctowl, but I would have preferred Staraptor, I would have preferred Swellow. Their move pools are just a little bit better, well, Staraptor's is a lot bit better, Swellow's is, you know, about the same, but, like, a little underneath that. First and second gen birds are terrible. Like, and seventh gen. Eighth gen. Okay, wait. And fifth gen, too. So, the good generation birds. Three. Four. Six. Six, of course. And eight. No doubt, they're the bests. So yeah, about half of the birds we have available are pretty awesome. Really? For real? I feel like this thing has Dream Eater. Do you have poison? You do. We're doing it. Even though I'm fairly... S oh, Shadow Sneak. Okay. Did we switch Pidgeot back? Okay, cool, we did. I was about to say, I literally forgot if I had or hadn't. Oh my god, can we not? Can we not? Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna go to Dundee, because I think Dundee's a little bit quicker than Blastoise. Yeah, there we go. I knew this asshole had Dream Eater. Stop putting us to sleep. Oh my god. Hypnosis isn't supposed to be this accurate. Literally half our team is asleep right now. What is this nonsense? So Faint Attack, Hypnosis, Dream Eater, and Shadow Sneak. We know his whole move set. Oh, thank God. I'm glad you can miss at least one. Oh, cool. So we're gonna we're gonna take this thing out. Without having to lose another Pokemon to sleep. That wasn't difficult so much as it was just stupid. And you know, sometimes difficult 
is a little bit better than stupid. Because at least you feel like things are happening for a good reason. And not just, oh wow, this is a problem, I guess. Like, god damn. Alright. Look at that. Half our fucking team. Snoozing on the job. Blastoise at half health. Just my god. That's two people in. Two people in the cycling road. Actually, now I think about it. I should probably register the bike so I can just use it instead of doing it this way. It's so weird playing a Pokemon game with a PS4 controller. Because, like, of course I had to do button binding for this. So, like, when I see, like, press X, that's triangle for me. When I see, like, press Y, that's square. My B button's the circle button. And, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't just play, like, Nintendo games. And I think you guys can kind of get that feel from just looking at the channel. But I do, like, prioritize. I guess... Not, like, prioritize. Like, I don't, like, go out of my way to. But, like, I'm heavily leaning towards Nintendo properties. Because, you know, I'm not a huge, like, shooters, like, open world adventure person. Like, I like RPGs. I like, you know... I like what a lot of Nintendo's, like, stuff has to offer. So, like, I'll play Pokemon games. I'll play random third-party title. Ugh. What? Does this thing have drought? Is drought? It's got drought. They all have drought, right? Yeah. I really hope this thing doesn't have, like, fissure or something scary or, like, a fire attack. This was solely based on the resist if he's got a stab move. Oh, God. I was hoping for something in which I didn't have to worry about him attacking me since I proved I was faster, but now he gets another attack off and I don't know what's going to be. Okay, that's fine. Fine. We'll take that. Double scary face. Cool. Uh, remember when I said I didn't want to deal with any more deities <laughs> and we got the fucking Lord of the Land here? Fuck. What is with the, like, frequency in Legends today? Or not even just today, just in our ROM. Because we already had to deal with, like, three of them in the last part. And now we're up to two, and we're not even at the hour mark yet. We're, like, only a half hour in. It's ridiculous. Oh, I wish I had a better flying-type move. I mean, I guess that was decent damage, but, like, Gust, like, is weak. Imagine what an Aerial Ace or, like, Fly would have done. Like, so much. Or Wing Attack. I'm level 21. Why don't I have Wing Attack? It's the most basic attack that a bird can do. But I don't have it. <laughs> like, what? And I got Twister, which, if you look at this, is a dragon move. God. I'm not teaching Twister. No. Yes. Ugh. <sighs> Twister is a really shitty dragon move. I don't know if... For anyone that does tune into this and doesn't know about, like, move powers and stuff, let me just tell you, it's shit. That's all you need to know is it's shit. Also, sorry for that spaz out. I was instinctively trying to use this. This isn't, like, button ma like button bound to anything. Like, I gotta use my D-pad. Oh. We're not staying in on you. This is a good thing that, like, we brought Ethan. Because, like, between our two water types, our grass type, and then our frail electric type, this vile plume had the potential to run through us like fucking a freight train. If it has another move. 
that seems to be quite fond of aromatherapy. Which, hey, you do you. As long as you don't think it cures diseases. Oh, I'm so happy that missed us. I didn't want to fucking... I didn't want to backtrack. I didn't want to waste an item that I probably don't even have. Because I... I don't know what's in my bag right now, other than Pokeballs. So here's the other issue. We don't match well against Steel types. I think we just stay in here. Solely because Gust is neutral. I really hope we can do some decent damage here. Oh my god. Well, that's good though. That's good that he's going for counter. Because our other guys probably would have been counter bait. Ooh, thank you for not getting the para. Are you in range right now? Please be in range. Shit. Thank god. Oh, Lucario's cool, though. I wouldn't mind having a Lucario. Anything to, you know, help us against these goddamn steel types. Give me a ground type. Give me a fire type. Give me a fighting type. Give me something. I'm hurting here. I'm hurting for a fucking... For some diversity. Because, like, water, grass, and electric does not cover anything like you wouldn't think that the coverage on that would be like as piss poor as it really is but like it's pretty piss poor we can basically take down water ground rock yeah i think that's it fire water ground rock fires like what five of the 18 types we can handle Honorable mention goes to the fact that we have Bite on a couple Pokemon. <laughs> oh, thank God that didn't do a lot. Oh. That scared me, because it successfully went off, and I thought that was Mirror Coat. And I was like, wait, what? How do you get to do that before I've hit you? That should have negative priority. What is going on here? I don't even know what Magicoat does. Does that bounce back? What does that bounce back? What does that do? I'm so confused right now. Because I know that there's the... I know Magic Bounce, the ability. Oh, this poor Beedoof. But I don't know what Magic Coat does. I'm probably going to look that up after stream, if I remember, because that's still a solid hour and a half away, and I don't really, I, I don't like the idea of pulling up my phone while I'm on stream, if I'm, you know, the only one here, like, if I'm, like, streaming with Ashley, and it's for an important reason, like, checking the audio quality of the stream, Checking to see that we're, like, even still alive. Texting out or, you know, plugging that we're live or, like, sending out room codes for Jackbox. Like, that's fine. But, like, just a generic Google search because I had a question. Like, I don't feel comfortable about, like, stuff like that. Because you guys don't tune in to watch me Google. You tune in to watch me play video games and, you know, have a hard time. Because, <laughs> like, let's be real. Every game I play... On whether it's the YouTube channel or the Twitch channel, everyone gives me some type of, like, headache. Because I'm not a good gamer. <laughs> I'm trash at video games. But I play them because they're fun. And it's something to shake up, you know, the everyday thing. Like, if I didn't have video games, I'd be alright. Because, you know, there's still anime and... I'm also, I don't, I don't know if I talk about this much on the channel, but I'm also a writer. I, uh, I write a couple different things. Like, I've got books, I've got screenplays, I've got poetry. 
Uh, I've got a fan fiction account, which, not in a creepy way, it's a Pokemon fan fiction. It's just a fun story. Uh, I do a lot of writing, and, like, like, a lot. Like, I'll sit down for hours and just do that. Like, if I didn't have video games, which, that's kind of my problem sometimes, is that I have video games. It's like, alright, man, sit down, focus on writing this thing. And then I'm like, alright, I got you. Is so Route 206 new? Is that new? All of this is 206. 211, 205. Yeah, that's new. But to get to the grass, we need cut back, which we have. Alright, cool. I was about to say, wait. Did I not keep cut? We also need these berries. Not as much as we would need good berries, but I'm trying to make it a habit to pick up literally any and everything, because you never fucking know. Alright. What are we going to do here? Who are we going to lead? Zolt probably is an alright choice. So what do we get here? Dupes Claws. Or not dupes. Well, actually, yeah, dupes and species claws. Oh my god, this game trying to give me more fucking water garbage. Which I don't know if I've said this on stream either. Water type is my favorite type, so, you know. Eh. Alright, a fighting type. Alright. We'll take it. It's not glamorous. But it'll get the job done. It could take a Thundershock, right? It could take a Thundershock, right? I probably shouldn't have done that. A crit? Zolt! God damn it. God fucking damn it. Alright. It's fine. There's a cave coming up. There's two caves. We'll we'll just we'll just go. We'll just catch something. Is are you the only one here, sir? Are you straight up the only ma like what? Are you the only individual here? Can I please move? This is weird. This is so weird. I don't feel like anything should come up this frequently. I mean, we did see the Squirtle when we walked in. So technically, it's probably not the only Pokemon here. Another water type. There's a lot of water types in this randomizer. And I'm not going to lie, I'm concerned about that. Because it makes me feel like... It makes me feel like we're gonna get wrecked. Like, the moment we encounter somebody that's, like, a difficult grass-like type, or difficult electric type, most of our team is in danger. Alright. I feel like I want to hop off the bike. Just because I don't want to go too far in this cave. Hey. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. That's even better than a Meditite. Hidden power what? Hidden power neutral. All right. Do I... Do I hit him again? I'm going to go for a ball. Because... I don't want to go for poison. Oh, cool. Lit. I'm so excited that that wasn't an ordeal. I don't know what I want to name... I don't know what I want to name this thing. 
Let me think. What's something that has to do with... Kicking. Hmm. I want to come up with something that's kind of good, though. Like, I don't want a shit nickname. Yeah, we're going to name him Jackie. Oh, here we, here we go. Here we go. I got it. I got it. We have just enough for what I'm thinking. Jackie Cham. Oh, that's stupid. That's like the balance I... Oh, he's not on the team. I have to go get him. My bad. Alright, let's go get our boy. Because that's actually something I'd like to add to the team, like, right away. We could add a pincer. That would have been really cool, not gonna lie. Actually, he's not like, he's an average bug type. He's not super special because he doesn't have like anything outside of X scissor. Whereas like if we were to get a hair across, we'd at least have like, we have like access to Mega Horn, which is a great bug move. And then we've also got the fighting type move pool too, which amazing. Brick break, close combat, counter. Not to mention, like, I don't know how abilities work right now. Is Moxie an ability yet? Did Moxie happen? I don't know if Moxie happened yet. That seems like a Gen 5 thing. So we're gonna take this shortcut to Orber. And then we're gonna... And grab our boy. See how he's looking, what his set's rocking. And we're gonna we're gonna drop Karma for now. Cause I don't think I need cut right yet. So let's see what he's got. We might need to do some work on his moveset. That's the wrong <sighs> I I'm I'm having a time. So, hasty nature. That's speed and drop special attack, I think. Pure power, boost the power of physical attacks. Ugh, not the best. But I think... Um... I can't really do anything. What move does Maylene give us? Does she give us Brick Break? Because I know Force Palm's not a TM. I know Counter's not. What does she give us? No! Oh, thank god I stopped when I did. I want to pair him with somebody that I think will really help him out. Which I guess, eh, Dundee could be that person. I think Dundee's a safe bet. They don't, they don't have any common weaknesses, I don't think. Actually, no, he's the best bet, because, like, Medicham's weak to, like, Ghost and Flying. And I have a cover for both of those on this. This is actually really good. Not, like, stellar, but, like, really good. So let's go ahead. See if we can flinch the Mantike or something. Oh, wow, that didn't do a lot at all. But that didn't do a lot at all either, so I guess... That's, okay. This was a solid exchange. They took about the same, and we didn't take that much. So I'm... I'm inclined to say that's fine. Speed tie, I see? Oh, that was a little bit more, though. Do I take another one of those? Am I 
Am I in danger? This thing needs to die. Oh, thank God. Because if he had doubled in the Medicham, I would have been the saddest person in the world. Oh, God. We didn't play that particularly safe. And I know that's on me. I know I need to play better than that. We're going to go back and heal. I should have, in theory, healed before I left anyway. So this is sort of just, you know, full circle type of thing. I should have healed. And outside, inside the battle, I should just be playing safer than this. I should... I, I know better. I know I do. So we have one other fight right here. And then a new cave. And then potentially a new route? I don't actually know if I can even take this guy. I'm, I maybe shouldn't have Medicham in front. I feel as if I can... I feel as if I can win this. I'm gonna go for Detect. Just to see what he's gonna do. I am a fool. I am an absolute fool. Oh, come on. Not more sleep. Alright, who has the... Who's the strongest attacks? I think Venus, honestly. I think Magical Leaf is our best right now. Ooh, and you almost paralyzed. We're gonna poison you. Just in case I do end up asleep, at least something's happening to this Dunsparce. So, like, being paralyzed sucks, but the good thing about it is knowing that I can't be put to sleep. I think that's a fair trade-off. Because aside from going second, being paralyzed doesn't affect me that much. I mean, I guess, like, full par like paralysis, that's a thing, but, you know, other than that, could be worse. I love how, like, I love how, like, I really wanted to, uh, have a fighting type to counter steel and, you know, normal types and rock types, and then I got one, and then it didn't have a fighting type move. Drain Punch. That's what Maylene gives us. Oh, God. Sorry for the ADHD brain moment, but, like, I'm, I'm just so excited that I figured out what she gives us. Because that would be nice on Medicham. So I went into Zolt solely because I'm going to play the quick attack game. Because I know it's not going to be able to hit me with any of it. Oh. Alright. I guess I'm the fool in this exchange. Wow. I forgot that electric types could get paralyzed back then. I guess I've just been too spoiled by sword and shield. So, I should check the bag and see if we have anything to fix these statuses. Yeah, I'm alright with using my line. Wait. No, I'm not. No, don't check tag. Use. I want to keep at least one, and then, like, when I get to the next town, I'll buy more. So we're not going to put Medicham in front. We're going to... I don't know. I feel confident with Zolt in front. I don't know why. Oh, fuck. That scared me. It's like, Barry, no, I don't want to fight. I really don't want to fight. I also forgot the verse seeker was in this game too. Oh man, so I guess that's how people usually do their training. That's not how I do it. 
I just try to take advantage of the areas in which I can get double battles. Alright, so this is Mount Coronet. So, let me show you guys something. On the map. Mount Coronet starts here, and it leads all the way up through here. So, there's a chance I'm not going to remember that I have a Mount Coronet encounter. So what I want to, like, what I want to implement is, aside from that little center segment, I think Mount Coronet in its different entrance, entrances should count as different areas. Solely because they're so far away from each other like they're basically different areas it's just labeled the same and when you get to the environments i mean it's a randomizer so you won't really see what i'm talking about but it's gonna have a lot of different pokemon like it naturally does and it will now too i don't want a spiro i don't want you you freaking you have to be kidding me you've got to be kidding me this is trash is there okay we caught that do I have a Pokemon named Jack already? I have Jackie Cham. I'm not gonna... I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm not using this thing. So I'm gonna do it anyway. He's gonna be Jack Spiro. So what I'm gonna do actually is we're going to backtrack a teeny bit because I think there's a few other ways we can get some encounters. I just have to go grab an item. And since we're over by Ouroburg, I can get that item relatively easily. Oh boy, another water type. Excited about that. Oh, I guess... Am I more mad that I could have had another water type or am I more mad that I have a Spearow? Both feel like the bitter sting of defeat. Like, not one part of it doesn't feel like agony. So we're gonna make our way over here. And we're gonna swing back through Jubilife. Because there's a fishing rod we can get. And if we get the fishing rod, we can get some encounters in different towns. Also, is this another route? I think this is another route. What route would this be? 218. We're not going to fuck with Route 218. Because we, we have to come back later. And it would make more sense to come back later and surf on that route for the encounter instead of, like, I'm going to walk up to the water's edge. So, wait, Jubilife doesn't have water. I think... Sand Gem Town does, though. Nope, this would, this would be the thing again. But actually, let me check the map, and I want to see where this leads. This leads nowhere that we're going to go, so, like, I'm going to do it. I'm going for it. Because there's really no reason not to. So let's hope that we can get something cool on the line here. This should be... <sighs> Come on. This should be randomized, too. Are we still streaming? We're still streaming. Sweet. So what do we got? 
That is dupes claws, my friends. Straight up, that is dupes claws. Did I sacrifice Octillery? Is that a thing that I did? Is he dead? Or is he just in the PC? <gasps> he got Lucario! <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Oh, how do I fight you, though? I really don't think I do. I think I just... Damn. I wanted to see if it was like, yes, works best on Pokemon. Caught while fishing, because, like, I fished for that. Oh. I'm not entirely certain that a quick attack, even resisted, even non-stab, wouldn't kill solely because I'm 20 levels higher. Oh, and this thing still has its catch rate, I'm pretty sure. Do I dare? Do I dare try? Who has the weakest attack stat? 43. Who had the 28? What do you have? Oh my god. Oh, you've got pure power, though. I can't really deal with that. So where, where was that 28? Did I just imagine that? So 27 is the lowest. Oh, I really don't want to... I don't want to risk... I really don't want to risk having hidden power super effective. This might not have been a good idea. I should have been more prepared for this. Oh, fuck. I'm such an idiot. I'm an absolute buffoon. Oh my god. Alright, what's my special attack, I guess? It's 27 too. Alright, I'm alright with losing Lucario. <gasps> oh my god, guys, there's light at the end of the tunnel after all. We just need to not crit. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a chance. What the- Okay, so... What is resisted by him? Normal. Dark. This has to be dark, honestly. Because, like... I feel like even if I'm, like, 15 levels higher... This should have done more to him. The only way it's not, well, yeah, because, like, Dark is quad-resisted. I feel like that's how we're in this spot, unless Medicham's just really fucking weak. That's possible, too. Oh, my God. So, now we're back in, you know, the same boat we always are in when we want to catch something good. Where it's, we physically can't hit it. We've done all we can. There's not much else that's left. Except throwing these horribly ineffective balls. And praying. That one of them works. We've only gotten two shakes. Which is kind of insane. You would think... That this low in the game, like this, you know, far down on health, we'd get more than two. Thank God. 
Oh my lord. I'm so happy. I wanted this so badly. Like, I'm gonna... I want you to know, I'm replacing Medicham immediately. And I'm so glad we came down here. So, a lot of people name this thing Goku. I'm gonna go and name him Vegeta. Because I like Vegeta so much more than Goku. We... I don't know why I always think that I can look at the Pokemon when I catch them. I literally can't. We're gonna go double check, make sure there's not water we can reach in our hometown, too. There's water. But I've learned my lesson, though. I need to get something that I can actually fight a level 4 Pokemon with. Oh, would you look at that? A fire type. That would have been nice. Oh, say la vie. I wonder, did we... Did we sack off the Pokemon that had Lick? We did. That was Teddy Ursa, wasn't it? Yeah, we did, didn't we? We did. Alright. What do you have on you again? This is a decent move set. Not gonna lie. So we're gonna put you on the team. For Medicham. And then we're gonna use you, I think, for catching. And I'm gonna controversially take Dundee off the team. Because as I mentioned earlier, I like Blastoise a little bit more. And I would rather use my fully evolved Water Turtle than my... All, like, my half-evolved, you know, crocodile. So, we're gonna go catch us another friend. Hopefully. Wait. Did I not put him in front? I didn't even put him in front. I'm an idiot. There we go. <sighs> I should have put, like, a clause or something. For like legendaries so in case like my encounter is a legend that I don't have to catch it but it's not gonna be a legend we're fine it's a prime we're getting all of the fighting types so okay so here's the thing it seems as if the rule states that if I ask for it I can have it right because I asked for fighting types. I got three in a row. Can I have a fire type? Please. Give me a fire type. So we're going we're gonna to put Donatello in. Because Donatello can just sponge up some hits for us real fast. I'm glad I switched when I did. Because goddamn. That... Probably wouldn't have killed Crawdot, but it would have hurt. Oh, come on, bro. What is a Primeape's catch rate? It can't be terribly high, right? Oh, man. I wish I had something that, like, status but didn't do damage to. Like, if I had Sleep Powder. Or Thunder Wave. Because, like... I don't like the idea of putting myself on that poison timer. Because it's not always about, oh, hey, his health is low. Sometimes it's just random. So even if you do have, like, poison and then, like, the Pokemon's health is incredibly low, it's not, like, guaranteed. It can still fail. Which is obnoxious, because, like... It's just obnoxious, because, like, you get to that point where you're like, yeah, I should have this. And in theory, you should, but then you don't. And then the Pokemon faints, because, you know, poison. I really don't... 
I'm going to call it at 10 balls. If I throw these other four and he doesn't stay in. Because I'm not going to waste... I'm not going to waste it on a primate. Especially when we already have a fighting type we really like. This is sort of just because I don't want to waste the encounter on the route. But I also know for a fact that I don't want to waste all my resources right here either. Because there's another route with something that's actually leveled up a bit more that we can have. Wow, he really wanted to. He was really close just there. So he had two more shots. Come on, Primate. Don't do this to me. There we go. I'm glad I didn't have to go through, like, the two final shots. I only had to go through one. Is he... Is he in the Pokedex? Is he native to Plat... He's not native to this game. Right? I don't know how that works, actually. So we're just gonna name him. Actually, you can do it with a space, too. So we got ourselves Angry Boy here. I think that's a fitting name. I keep thinking that I can look at these Pokemon. I can't. I miss... We're gonna, we're gonna, we've got repels, right? Yeah, not many, but we got some. I miss the feature in Sword and Shield that lets you just go to your PC in the wild. We're actually gonna stop in here, grab an extra repel, because I want to get back to where we were. Wow, I have a lot of money again. What did I even do to get a lot of money? Oh no, we don't want 38. And we kind of do, but we really don't. You gotta buy... So the life hack is you buy them in 10s. So they give you the free extra Premier Ball. Because... It's, it's two free Pokeballs for the price of one free Pokeball if you do it... Oh my god. If you do it separately like that. Wait. Is this the thing? He's still in the front. That needs to change. Because if he stays in the front. I don't know if you guys knew this. Fun repel fact. If your Pokemon in the front of your party is lower level than the wild Pokemon, it doesn't actually repel them anymore. So we're going to go get our... Actually, wait. What did we... Who did we swap for this? Alright, so in theory, we actually can leave Dundee on the team. Because we still have that room. So Dundee, you live to stay on our team another day. And I think I'm actually going to fight these guys real quick. For the experience points. Just because well, we're going to heal and then I'm going to fight them. Because I want to start boosting up Lucario. Because he is going to be such a powerful member of our team. He's, oh my god, I can't tell you guys how excited I am that he's here. <laughs> it's like our first, like, powerhouse. Because everything else has been kind of neutral. Or, like, lacking. Like, I think Meganium isn't a powerhouse Pokemon. Oh shit, this isn't a double. I thought this was going to be a double. Well, it's a good thing I put the experience share on him. Because it doesn't really matter if I'm switching out now. I mean, I guess I probably was going to switch anyway. I was going to like double and then like switch. And then switch him back in while the other two fought. But you know, this works out fine. Look at that. Look at fucking Pidgeot can't even KO a Surskit. 
This is why all of the other bird Pokemon are infinitely better. Except for Noctowl. Noctowl is below Pidgeot. Uh, we don't really need counter. I, I don't feel like... I don't feel like that's a strat that I really want to, like, rely on. Like, saying that you have to basically take damage to deal damage is sort of an uncomfortable thing for a Nuzlocke. Because, I mean, like... I don't know, like, how does resisted hits, like, deal back damage? Because, like, if I take a resisted hit, it's not hurting me that much, but, like, does the doubling of, like, the damage make it worth it? I don't know. I'm talking out my ass right now, guys. That's sort of what you guys sub for. It's just this guy who's gonna rant and, like, drop random Pokemon knowledge and freak out and, you know, freak out. <laughs> Oh man, it would have been nice if those were like fully evolved the Pokemon. Alright. Same as before. We're gonna hit him up with that Encore. Dodrio, that might actually give me some decent experience. Watch this thing in a pursuit, and then like pursuit kills me. Oh thank god. I don't feel like a level, like, a, a, I don't feel like Pursuit could kill me. It's quad resisted, but I also feel like it might kill. Ooh. That's concerning, Dodrio. I'm glad you're gone, because that was concerning damage. What move was that? Force Palm already? Well, goddamn. This is such a better investment than Medicham. Oh my god. That's insane. Chingling. Again, would have been nice if it was fully evolved. But like, I'll take whatever at this point. So we're gonna switch into... We'll go for Dundee, there he is. So aside from Lucario, I think we actually are strong enough to take on the next gym, which is terrifying, but I think their highest level is 25, and that's kind of where a lot of our guys are capping out at, maybe a little bit under, and that's kind of exactly where I like, like to stay for, you know, a gym fight. Don't want to be too high, don't want to be too low. So in theory, we can head back that way. And I think we can take on the gym. I think I'm comfortable doing that. Time-wise, I think it's in our budget. For sure. Oh, I didn't put the repel on, did I? Get out of here! Stop reminding me of dreams of my past. It could have been great. It really could have been, guys. So, okay, so several things, actually. One, super repel. Two, Lucario, get out of the front, please. Our team's actually doing really well on levels. And that's, like, surprising to me, because, like, that wasn't my goal in the least. Oh, man, I'm so happy I went back and got that fishing rod. Best decision I've made all day. And I love that we're also so, like, near where we were. Like, I love this, like, I love how, like, the Sinnoh region's map loops, because... It makes it easy to backtrack. Which is great when you have, like... The way they place their items is phenomenal. Alright, so what route is this? 208? Is this new? I'm concerned. I don't want to... I don't want to cheat. So 208. 207. 11. 5. This is new. 
So after this guy fights us, we'll go get our encounter. And hopefully it'll be something on par with Lucario. Is this a fight? Is this a fight that I want? Sure, let's see how this goes, I guess. It's just a coughing. I don't like not having, like, powerful moves that I know are going to deal the damage I want. But I guess Gus didn't do too poorly here. Don't poison, bruh. Lit. We didn't have to worry about explosions. So that's good, too. Awesome. So, let's keep him moving. Because we want that in... We'll get this guy, too, I guess. But then after that, encounter time. Only one. And it's a snubble. Let's freaking go. Ooh, you're dropping my attack. I'm actually... No. No. I hate... What the fuck? Can I? Okay. I can't scroll up if I'm right there. I have to do it from any other thing but run. That's really weird. That's probably why I ran that one time on that wild encounter. Was there water in it? Stop. Do I dare? I'm trying to remember. Was there a, like... Was there water to fish in in Eterna City? Because I feel like there might have been. And if there's water to fish in in Eterna City, that's another encounter too. Oh god. I actually think after this encounter up here, I might backtrack and check that out. So, I'm switching. Oh, I'll stay. Come on, something good. Bruh. A Tyranitar? <laughs> I want a Tyranitar. I really do. I hope this thing doesn't do anything that's gonna hurt me too badly if I stay in. Oh, fuck. Alright. My bad. I didn't know you fucking meant business. I can't go into you. I think I can go into you though. I think I I think bite is safe. I think bite is safe. And then we can even go tackle a couple times. Oh god. I don't know how confident I am about keeping a Pupitar alive long enough to become a Tyranitar. But if we can do it, there's no reason not to. We're going to go for one more tackle, I think. Because I don't think tackle crit kills. Lit. He's dropped my defense. A considerable amount of times therefore we're switching out because I don't want to lose Blastoise not one bit so let's see if we can do this that looks like a pretty like sliver of health Wow it didn't even shake Oh, I can't wait till we have Ultra Balls and things are easier to do. Because I feel like the randomizer has taught me just how worthless the regular Pokeball actually is. Because, like, there are Pokemon we throw things at that don't even seem like they'd have that high of a catch rate. We're switching. Because that's a two hit. It might not look like it, but that's a two hit. This, uh, 
this leering is scary because like between leer and screech and the fact that rock slide is a really good move like it's an actual strong move like that has damaging abilities against us oh thank god oh jesus i don't know what i want to name you What do I want to name you? I'm gonna go with a Godzilla name. I think I spelled that right. <sighs> My god. We need to put somebody else in the front. And as much as I feel bad about it, I am going to backtrack again. Solely because I really want to make sure that we're, like, taking the opportunities that we need to get the Pokemon that are going to help us. Because if we hadn't backtracked, we wouldn't have had the Lucario. That's such a good encounter. That's such a great addition to the team. And I'm really excited about the idea of finding even better members that we can add to. Like, like think about this. Our team is really coming together. Like, Endgame, Blastoise, Lucario, Tyranitar, <laughs> Jolteon, something else. I don't know. I don't know what the rest of our team is going to end up being like. But we could end up with something really good. But it all depends on, like, being as economic with these encounters as possible. Oh, fuck. I wish I'd gone back. Well, I mean, I guess I probably wouldn't have... It wouldn't, no, it wouldn't have happened. I was gonna say, I wish I'd gone back before Cycling Road. But it was passing through Cycling Road that made that opportunity feasible. So, you know. Ignore me. I really need water. Come on. No, is there not water in the town? That's trash. Well, we tried, and that's what's important. So, now that we have our member, now that we have our encounter, what level does Pupitar evolve? That's gotta be, like, end game end game i think like he's gonna need to be 40 i think and that's probably that's not gonna happen until we have a good deal more badges than we already do i'm gonna throw that repel back on i almost forgot all right we can we can go to the gym i think I don't think there's anything stopping us. We could have had an Onyx. I'm so glad we didn't get an Onyx. Can't escape. Alright, fine. I was actually going to try to kill it, but... No, no, that's fine. We'll fight you. That's sort of... It's important that we're fighting people. So let's do that. Oh, an electric type. Okay. Guess I'm going to quick attack and get paralyzed again. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, wow. No paralysis. Breloom. Hmm. I gotta do it. This isn't the safest instance to have to do it, but I gotta do it. Oh, I really hope I'm not gonna regret not healing. Okay, that's fine. Lit. Alright, alright. 
faint. We don't need that. And cool, that, that was the win. This guy. Lit. We got around him. <sighs> we made it to town. We can go heal. We can go fight. We can go do things. So this little cutscene, basically, this Baneri ran away. And since we were here, we stopped it from getting too far. So they want to thank us. So we gotta go... Well, first, I want to go to the Pokemon Center. I don't want to not be healed up. We should also grab Pupitar, honestly. And see... What was he using? Leer? Screech? Rock Slide? And something else. But we should put him on the team. And now is when we do it for Dundee, I'm pretty sure. But he's going to be nice to have in the background. If anything happens to Blastoise, we can always bring him back. So Rock Slide Sandstorm is the other move you had. Hasty Nature. Utter garbage. Alright, so we need to rely on our... On our four boys here. Because we still have two boys in the back that are trying to, you know, work on their gains, you know, boost up, get strong so they can make us proud. I'm gonna go stop at the Pokemart and see if there's better balls here. We're still stuck with Pokeballs. So that's fine, I guess. I do want to spend some of our money on some healing items, just in case. You really never know. And then, what do you have? Mm, garbage. Thank you. So we gotta go to the contest hall. Which, wow, I didn't realize how slow I run. Mostly because I've been cruising on this bike. I really don't imagine... I can't imagine... Playing this without the bike now. So, our mom used to be a contest star. She actually knows this lady over here. They hope that we'll check out contests. We probably won't. Because contests, contests aren't part of Nuzlocke's. But the important thing here is that the gym leader actually loves contests, and she's right here. So, talking to her makes her go back to her gym. And then we can go over and actually challenge it. So that's what we're at right now. We're going to challenge her gym. Hopefully it's not going to be scary type, and hopefully that we can do alright with our four members. So, no. Essentially, the puzzle for this is that little square right there is the door we need to go through. Okay, buddy. I was trying to show the people at home, but, you know, whatever. That's going to tell us the shape we need to match. I don't know if... I don't know what happens if you don't get it right. But... Either way, we're going to, like, fight everybody in every room. Because, like I said, experience in those locks is paramount. We need that. We need that more than we need oxygen. Hold on. I actually have somebody coming over. Do I dare do a cliffhanger? Do I do cliffhanger? Oh, I really don't want to do cliffhanger. What is the right move here? Hmm. Let's see how far we... We might not go the full two hours. But I do want to, like, finish the gym for sure. So I think we're going to do our best to take down everything in here 
And then, based on what happens IRL, we might cliffhanger this. Hate to say it. So let's... Oh, I swear to God, if I can't take you out before that wish, I'm going to be really sad. I can't do it. That's annoying. That's so annoying. At least I wasn't too, like too full. Oh no. Okay, cool. That didn't kill us. Oh, we gotta go for it again. Oh no. Don't. Oh, thank God. Still streaming, still streaming. Awesome. This might be our first stream that we make it through without having it drop at all. No, not the first, but first Pokemon one at least. That was terrifying, that Magical Leaf. I should have been aware of that. Because Magical Leaf, without a doubt, I know that's in Gardevoir's moveset. I'm an idiot. So square is the door we want to go through. One Pokemon, it's a new mole, and we're leading with Zolt. Alright, we need to leave. We're gonna go into Blastoise. I guess, like, Pupitar wouldn't have been a bad I Yes, it would have. <laughs> it absolutely would have been a bad choice. Oh, that was close. I'm really glad that my brain was, like, too slow to, like, process that possibility. Because I might have, like, seeing Numa would have been like, oh, hey, might as well send him in. But that would have been terrible. That would have made me so sad. Come here, come here, man. I literally have to wait until they shine their lights on me. I can't click on them. That's absolutely ludicrous. Beldum, huh? Who handles Beldum well? I don't know if anybody really does. This might actually be a fine matchup. Because, yeah, that's neutral. Your special defense probably isn't super great. Yeah, that was fine. Okay. We need to find this symbol so we know what door to go through. But we also need to fight everybody in the room. Mime Jr. I don't know, do I? Nah. We'll, we'll, we'll stay in, we'll do this, we can do this. Shouldn't be bad. Oh yeah, we're good. Because this is actually a rather normal Pokemon to encounter, because Mime Jr. did debut in this game. So I don't have any fears of what this thing's packing. And I also have no fears of a Chikorita either, because we have Meganium. We know that it's not very scary. We know it doesn't have anything out of left field. Well, I'm not going to lie, though. I'm on edge. I'm waiting. Expecting some shenanigans. I don't know when we're going to get them. But I feel like they're around the corner. Alright. <sighs> Fucking Christ. And you're gonna block the path now. So I have to go around. That's... It's whatever. Rotom. Okay, cool. The form... Did the forms not show up in this game? Are those later? Oh, either way. I don't think I can fight you. Yeah, I think this is the right way. Because it's Electric Ghost right now. And this is perfect, because I've got Magical Leaf, which I'm pretty sure doesn't miss. Hopefully. I mean, we nailed it the first... Oh, that... That's not the damage output I wanted to see. I'm not lying. 
I was really hoping that we could two shot. But at least this seems to be consistently hitting. Okay. That's. Okay. Come on, Venus, you got this. Ah, Venus. We don't have time for this. Thank you. I'm glad you realized, too. So let's hope that the next Pokemon's not Haxi. Agron, okay. You are a big boy. And I just knocked over my headphones. Hang on. I had to scratch my ear. So this got in the way. We're good. Alright. Uh. Okay, cool. Half. That's good. I was going to say, Water Gun hasn't consistently done the damage we wanted it to. So I'm surprised to see it doing half. Especially against a... Oh, wow. It must have been a low roll. But it's good to see it doing at least half against something that's higher level than us. Which, speaking of, that was a little... That was a little close for comfort, honestly. Bone Rush, that's going to be good. Look at our Lucario. Mm, detect is kind of nice. I think I want to keep it. So let's do a bit of triage real quick. Vegeta's actually almost on par with the rest of our team. Like, that experience share has really been doing work. Oh, did you move? You moved for me. Yay. All right, so we need, I can't, I can't get my light to flash over the shape, so I don't know what it is. Okay. God. <laughs> this is... Maybe it's alright. I don't think he gets Dragon Rage, does he? He gets Dragon Claw, though. And that's scary. That seems like a two-hit. Oh. Donatello, I think. Yeah. How do you do against a Dragon Claw? <gasps> ah! Okay. What do you have? You might... Oh. Uh, Venus. This is terrifying. And I know that, like, this is ironic because Croconaw literally has the answer to this. Like, Croconaw literally just does. Croconaw just one-shots this thing, probably with Ice Fang. Oh my god. Take it, please. You have to. You absolutely have to. This is this is the game now. <laughs> this is our strat. We, we, we do this, and we pray he doesn't crit, and we wait for him to die. That's how we win. Oh, no. Oh, stop critting. Bro. Please die. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna heal. Because if we heal right here, I think even with the crit, he can't kill us. We're out of range. And then he just dies. Oh, I can't believe he got two crits. I can't believe that. Oh my lord. ho -o! What is this trainer? Who are you? Ace Trainer Allen? Oh my god.
Yeah, go for safeguard. Please don't let me miss this rock slide. Oh my god. Die. Oh, you're still here. We're fine. This is fine. Oh my god. I told you guys, though. I knew that there was some shenanigans. I think this is the literal last trainer in here. And he's had two legends. And a hit monta. <laughs> Fuck me, guys. I'm really not feeling this. I'm astounded. I'm a I'm astounded. I'm disappointed. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm barely here. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm so happy that I didn't like switch train or like end up in a situation where i needed to send out something that was weak just to be pursuit killed by hitm on top like oh my god that was a fucking trip it's a heart we need the heart that's the moon that's the star is that the heart that's the heart and we're at the gym leader but just fucking barely. So we're gonna heal up. Everybody. And then we're gonna do it. I think timing is working out perfectly. So long as nothing stupid happens in this fight. I'm really hoping for a break. Because that was a stressful five minutes. That was stressful. I really hope Jolteon was the right lead for this. I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> Hitmonlee, alright. We are, in fact, not staying in for that. I don't feel like there's a good reason to stay in for that jump kick. What? Are you for real? You killed my whole mon. You killed an entire Pokemon. Oh my god. You sack of garbage. I'm glad I'm at least faster, I suppose. But I feel like he can crit kill me. Alright, no, he can't crit kill me. That's 27 damage. God. Wait, 27 times 2. Oh, bro, please. Please, no. Oh, don't take Meganium. Please don't take Meganium. Oh my god, yes. Thank god. I really didn't expect that to be when I lost a Pokemon. I really thought that, you know, Rayquaza and Ho-Oh would, would be like the epitome of, alright, we're in danger. I didn't think I hit Mon Lee. Would have been as devastating as it ended up being. Okay. Okay. This is not... This is not at all what I wanted. Alright, so my friend has arrived, so we need to end this episode right after this fight. STOP FLINCHING ME! You almost killed me. Oh my god. I'm gonna run out of healing items.
That's scary. How much PP does Stomp have? This is ridiculous. I don't know what to do right here. I'm at a loss. How, how, how? How is this so bad? <laughs> I need to withdraw if I can even get one off so we need to go for the withdraw and I think heal to see like what the damage is I think we need to fucking stall out stomp apparently because it's the most OP move on our opponent's set apparently so what is that gonna do not much did we already do it? Are you already out of stomps? Or are you just trying to hax me in a new way? Ooh, the crit. A berry? A berry. And a potion. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. And I, I have to do this. I literally have no other choice. Oh my god. That's not a lot of damage. We might have to stall out of both moves, honestly. Which, like, I don't like saying that. But I think that's what we gotta do. Because we don't have a safe switch in... I wish that Pupitar was a Tyranitar right now, because, like, we would hard fucking counter this Giraffe Rig if that were the case. But we don't hard counter, unfortunately. Oh my god. Please let me not die here. Thank fuck. Okay. We're almost there. One more. What did you want to learn? Protect. That would have been helpful sooner. But I'm teaching it because I realize it's helpful. Mischievous. Who can deal with that? Zolt, hopefully. Otherwise, I have to stall and heal up Blastoise, I guess. Oh my lord. We are so not doing well. Oh no! Alright. I don't know what it's about to do. But I do think Blastoise is the answer. So there's no reason to not put him back up to full. And just try it with him. I can't switch now. Oh my god. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst. What does your side beam do? 47 down to 35, so about 12. Zolt, please. Zolt, stop. A crit kills me. Thank god you didn't crit. Our last super potion. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this fight is a nightmare. Oh my god. We need this confusion to go away so badly. Because we dealt so much damage just to ourselves. Oh my god. So t still around 12-ish 11. So we can take three more of those. Provided we don't hit ourselves. 
We just gotta land one more. And then it's over. Oh my god. I feel bad for saying terrible things about Pidgeot, because now he's gone. Ugh. Oh. That wasn't easy. That wasn't easy by any stretch. But we've made it on the other side. So, we're gonna bury our friend in the next episode. We're gonna save the game. And I'm gonna do my clothes off real quick. So, thank you guys for watching. Check out our YouTube channel. All of the stuff we do on Twitch is off-ported up to there. About a day, maybe two days after we do it live on Twitch. Follow my... Go to my Patreon. Follow my Twitter. Uh, we're on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page and a Facebook profile. And I should have the streaming schedule fixed for the rest of the week soon. So stay up to date by following Facebook for that. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry.